The Psychological Take on Captioning. This research was published online at the National Center for Biotechnology Information in 2015 by Morton Ann Gernsbacher, a professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. It's called Video Captions Benefit Everyone, and basically rephrasing at this point, it starts with, Video captions, also known as same language subtitles, benefit everyone who watches videos. Children, adolescents, college students, and adults. But, as Gernsbacher says, video makers are often naive to the laws and the benefits of captioning. This research looks at the empirical studies of children and adults who watch videos with captions on them. Um, Gernsbacher says captions are particularly beneficial to persons watching videos in their non native language, children and adults learning to read, and persons who are deaf or uh, hard of hearing. So, this first chart is comparing comprehension scores between deaf children and hearing children. The experiment uses four conditions, which are video plus audio, captions only, video with audio and captions, and the control of not watching anything at all, in that order. But what's surprising is not that deaf children benefit from captions of any kind, which they do, but that videos with captions also score the highest with hearing children. And so below, uh, this next chart shows that hearing children learn to read better with captions. The idea is that having words on the screen will map their meaning to whatever object they're describing. And uh, you know, here are the results. Lastly, um, this study talks about how secondary language instructors and subtitlers copied what same language captioners have been doing for decades. The result is that second languages, so obviously not your native language, benefit hearing persons learning that second language even more than captions in that person's native language. So on the bar graph here, uh, Japanese university and college students recall more from videos that have English subtitles than ones in their own language. So the problems going forward are that A, research like this is always being published under separate literatures. So deaf literature, second language learning, adult literacy, uh, children education, etc. And B, many teachers and content creators think captions are only for deaf people. And there's a quote I really like um, about captions being curb cuts by using elevators as an analogy. Uh, indeed, the overwhelmingly vast majority of persons who benefit from elevators are persons are not persons with disabilities, and the same could be true for captions. So, the other big problem is that not all videos are captioned, uh, even though they legally have to be, uh, and that most uh, people that do use captions are using the spotty, at best, auto captions. So, I'm wondering, you know, how do we increase awareness um, of the benefits of captions? And I like how the article talks about uh, the influx of second language learners um, and second language speakers into our country and universities, and this creates a need to use more subtitles. But, you know, that's just you know, one example. And I think we just, need, um, we just need urgency and more pressing from advocates uh, of captions to continue.